Welcome back. On today's episode, we are visiting with Linda Gordon, Mayor of Lexington. And <coughs> Linda Gordon is one of 326 new mayors sworn into office in the year 2019. And Medium.com's Bloomberg Cities named her as one of the nation's five new mayors to watch. And once again, Mayor uh, Gordon, we appreciate you joining us uh, here on In Focus Kentucky. Thank you for having me, Mario. Uh, you bet. And let's talk uh, about uh, something that you've been very vocal about wanting uh, to dream big dreams for Lexington. And uh, one of those things you want to lead in the battle against opioid addiction, mm -hmm. uh, something that's, you know, uh, difficult across the country, but specifically in Kentucky, but also in Lexington. Mm -hmm. uh, why is this a top priority for you to want to address and try to tackle? Well, it has finally become a community-wide issue. And this addiction issue, is it's hitting every demographic of our community. It, it does not discriminate. And so I think that every person has been touched in one way or another. If you have a family member or a friend or a friend who has a friend, it's touching everyone. It's affecting families. It's affecting jobs. It's economic development because a lot of our folks who are addicted can't pass a drug screen to get a job. And <clears throat> it's also tightly linked with crime. And so you look at those big, those big segments, crime, families, jobs. I felt it was time that we make this a community priority and you know in the past it hasn't been discussed really openly much our our public safety folks of course knew all about it but it is now a public conversation i talk about it everywhere i go we are i have hired a person inside government whose sole focus is the opioid addiction and recovery issue and she is right now looking at our statistics here in Fayette County. We know we're the number two behind Jefferson County in terms of the seriousness of our problem, overdoses, the presence of drugs. And so then next she will be looking at best practices across the country and then we'll put together a multidisciplinary team that will work together toward a strategy to take action. And we're finding out that there are lots of good efforts being made around our commonwealth, but they're, in a lot of cases, they're fairly siloed. And to me, the, the point where we need to go is to connect, connect the addiction experts, connect the faith community who want to be part of the solution, connect public safety. We need to have all these folks sitting together working on the solution. So it's big. It's big all over the country, but it's, it's especially a problem here. And you touched on crime, and uh, <coughs> Lexington in 2018 was uh, ranked as one of the top 10 safest metro cities in America. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but there are still those who are concerned about violent crime numbers yes. and uh, always need reassurance or wanting to know how uh, you as mayor will address crime and focus on this area. Uh, what's, what's, how do you plan to uh, navigate those waters with uh, addressing violent crime and uh, here in, in public safety in Lexington? Well, it, we are, compared with other cities across the country, our size, we are very safe. However, if you're the victim of a crime, you don't necessarily feel safe, right? So, for one thing, the, the police are committed to getting rid of the drug dealers and the drug traffickers. And that, that effort is going into high gear. And when you can make a, you know, an effect on the presence of drugs in the community, it helps all the way down the line. And <clears throat> these, um, even though we're a safe community, these drug issues are so directly related to crime. A very high percentage of our crime, both violent and nonviolent, is related to people getting money for drugs. And it's just the fact of the matter. So we're very focused. I've talked with Chief Weathers of police. They are so focused on this issue. And now we're going to bring in the other pieces to 
um, to beef up our efforts. You know, police are not social workers. They're trained law enforcement, but they're being asked to do social work and mental health care, and which is another thing people don't talk about in our community is mental health issues. And they're right in there related with crime, opioid addiction, homelessness. The mental health issue is another big one that we're, we're focusing on with all of this together. It's a pretty big bite out of the apple that we're taking, but it's, it's important. Well, Mayor Gordon, uh, we are uh, enjoying your time with us here on In Focus Kentucky, and we want you to stay with us here on the program as we're visiting with Lexington Mayor Linda Gordon. We'll continue the conversation with her, but first it's time for a final check of your Weather on the Ones forecast, and that's coming up after this break. <music> 